today I'm going to show you how to knit a simple poncho like this one. It's basically just a rectangle which is twice as long as the poncho is wide. I will show you all the used techniques that I'm working with. Garter stitch, stockinette stitch, and here the small seed stitch, and of course how to knit a cable. Important is how you break down the stitches and what we'll need for that. For this poncho here I used the Woolly Hux Sheep, which consists of 50% wool, 28% cotton and 22% polyamide. For a poncho size 36 to 42, which is a size small to large, you only need 350 gram. For a size 44 to 50, which is a size large to 3x large, you need 450 gram of the Woolly Hux Sheep. It also has a good length and falls very light. That's why it's perfect for bigger designs like this one. We start on the bottom edge, the one that later on will be the tilted edge here. For the smaller size we cast on 97 stitches and for the bigger size we cast on 113 stitches. I'm just going to cast on a couple of stitches and then show you all the different techniques on them. Important is also the gauge in garter stitch. For 10 cm you need to have 16.5 stitches and 24 rows. So when you measure a square of 10 by 10 cm of this fabric, that square has to be 16.5 stitches wide and 24 rows high. If you get the same result then you can cast on the number of stitches that I gave you so that everything will fit right in the end. I'll cast on 14 stitches just to show you the different techniques. You still cast on the 97 stitches for the smaller size and 113 for the bigger poncho. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So the first couple of stitches you always knit in garter stitch. The first five stitches to be exact. And the border stitch we slip in every right side row. Once you slip that border stitch you knit five stitches in garter stitch. That means in the right side row and the wrong side row you both times just knit the stitches. For the following 60 stitches, alternatively 76 stitches for the larger size, we will knit in stockinette stitch. That means I knit those stitches too in the right side row. And then I'll show you how they're done in the wrong side row. For the border stitch at the end of the work I just knit one. Turn around your work and start again by slipping the border stitch. Keep your yarn in the front and then take it to the back. Now we first have our 7 stitches in stockinette. 
that are now in the wrong side row purl. So for the stockinette stitch, you knit the stitches in the right side row and purl the stitches in the wrong side row. Now remaining I have my 5 stitches plus the border stitch that we do in the garter stitch. Garter stitch means to knit all stitches in the right side row as well as in the wrong side row. For the last one at the border we always knit one. Turn around. Slip the first border stitch and leave your yarn in front of your work. Only once you slip the first stitch you take it behind your needle. Now we again knit 5 stitches in garter stitch. You can already see the pattern here. And then the 60 stitches in stockinette stitch. I'm only showing you how to knit the whole thing. Ok, with the poncho we continue as follows. After you cast it on the 97, alternatively 113 stitches, you have the border stitch here. Then 5 stitches in garter stitch that you simply knit both ways. Then we have the 60 stitches alternatively 76 stitches in stockinette stitch. These you knit in the right side row and purl in the wrong side row. After all that we here reach the part with the new patterns. This part will knit as follows. It's the same number of stitches for both sides. The difference between the two sizes lies within the stockinette stitch. So I knit 5 stitches in garter stitch, knitting the stitches on both sides. Then 5 stitches in small seed stitch. Then we have 10 stitches for the cable. Again 5 stitches in seed stitch. And for the last bit we again have 5 stitches in garter stitch. The garter stitch and the stockinette stitch I already showed you. Now I'll show you how to knit the seed stitch and the cable here in the middle. Ok, so here I'm still in the wrong side row on the stockinette stitch, meaning I purl these stitches then knit the last 5. Now I'm going to show you the small seed stitch. These stitches here I'll keep in garter stitch. Slip the border stitch, knit the first 5 stitches, and now I'm going to knit 5 stitches in small seed stitch. Meaning, I'll alternate between knitting 1 stitch and purling 1 stitch. Knit one, purl one, and knit one more. These five stitches will be my seed stitches. The remaining stitches I'm just going to keep in stockinette. That'll be different for your poncho, but for now I'll just do that. I'm going to write the whole pattern down for you later. Now I again have my five seed stitches. When the stitch here lies within the pattern as a purl stitch, you now, on the wrong side row, knit that stitch. When the stitch lies as a knit stitch, you now purl that stitch. Knit one, purl one, 
and knit the last one. So for every 5 seed stitches you have knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Both in the right side row as well as in the wrong side row. Here we again have the 5 garter stitches. Slip the border stitch, again the 5 garter stitches. And now you can see that for the following 5 stitches I again knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. That way the pattern shifts every row. It's also the reason why it's called seed stitch, because the purl stitches lie within the pattern like little seeds. Knit the remaining stitches and the border one like before. Then again the 5 seed stitches. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Always in that order, no matter if right side row or not. And then the garter stitches. As you can see the border stitches fall in line very nicely when you always knit them, slip them at the beginning and leave the yarn in front of the needle at first and then bring it to the back. It's important to always do that the same way so the border stitches look nice and even. Again seed stitch. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one, knit one. That's it. That's how you knit these patterns. You now know the stockinette stitch, the garter stitch and the small seed stitch. Only thing left to learn is the cable. I'm gonna show you how to twist the stitches to get that cable. It's not difficult at all. For a cable you knit 10 rows in stockinette stitch. That means those 10 stitches you knit in the right side row and purl in the wrong side row. Just like we did here. And in row 11 you twist those 10 stitches for the first time. For that you take an extra needle or a cable needle. Now we pretend that we do the cable above the 10 stitches in the middle. You would have stockinette stitches in front of you now. Now I take 5 stitches onto my extra needle. 2, 3, 4, 5. And put them behind my work. Then knit the next 5 stitches. Now take the extra needle with the 5 stitches on it and knit those 5 stitches as well. Then the remaining stitches in case of this poncho the seed stitches left and right. In the wrong side row you then just purl all stitches that's because our cable is in stockinette stitch so the wrong side row is all purl stitches
and now you can see that the stitches cross over to the right where we twisted them. Just like here in our poncho. So, you continue. The 11th row is where we twist the cable. So the 12th row is a wrong side row. Then after that you continue with 16 rows of stockinette stitch. And then in the 17th and 18th we again twist the cable. So cross in the 17th. The 18th is a wrong side row. And then again 16 rows in stockinette stitch. So in every 18th row you twist the cable. First after 11 stitches. Then for all following twists after 18 stitches. And so you knit the whole poncho until it's twice as long as it is wide. Let me draw that for you. This here is the width of the poncho. Here we have the first five stitches in garter stitch. Then here we have the 60 stitches, alternatively 76 stitches in stockinette stitch. Next we again have five stitches in garter stitch. Then 5 stitches in small seed stitch, followed by 10 stitches for the cable, which always crosses to the right. After that, again 5 stitches in seed stitch, and 5 stitches in garter stitch. Also, the border stitch on each side. Altogether, that equals the 97, alternatively the 113 stitches that you had to cast on. Considering the gauge I gave you, the poncho then has a width of 55 centimeters or 65 centimeters for the bigger size. And because we have double the length, that means we have a length of 110 centimeters. Alternatively, 130 centimeters. That's how much we need to finish our poncho. Now I'm going to show you how to sew it together. For that, I'm going to cut that out. So this is our finished work. You then fold it in the middle. Here, the edge where the cable is stays completely open. And here on this side, you leave open 27 centimeters, counting from the middle. Alternatively, 31 centimeters for the bigger size. And then sew together the remaining 28 centimeters, alternatively the remaining 34. So you only have to close the 28 centimeters or 34 centimeters at this side. This here will then be your neckline. And then you wear the poncho like this. If you like, you can now fringe it. These ones here are 4 fringes each, with a length of about 14 cm tied together in a knot. You see I tied in the fringes consisting of single threads. You take a 30 cm thread. Pick that up in the middle and then tie it in. I'll show you.
Take the piece of yarn in the middle. Get a crochet needle and insert the needle where you want your fringes to be. Then pull through the middle part of the thread. And after that, pull both ends through the resulting loop. And that way you work four fringes each and tie them into a knot. And this is it, the poncho is now finished. I hope you had fun with this tutorial. If so, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I frequently upload new ideas and designs. Hope to see you soon. Love, Veronica.